Hello guys, and welcome to episode 2 of the How to Make a Dank Knee Robot in uh, Visual Studio's tutorial series. Um, and in this episode, we're going to be linking our database that we'll be using called Firebase to our Node.js project that we had started in the last episode. Um, so yeah, with that said, let's get started. So um, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to head over to this link that I'll link in the descriptions below. Um, you're just, you're just going to press Add Project. And then once you've added the project, you're just going to type um, your project name. And I guess we'll just call it Dank Me. <laughs> um, and then once you have your desired name, just press Continue. Um, for all of these, uh, I'm, I wouldn't enable Google Analytics um, because mostly because we're not going to need it. Um, but yeah, so just if you want it, you can. Um, but I'm just going to turn it off and I'll press Continue. And let's just wait until it loads. All right, so you can see here my um, project has been completed. Um, and now um, you can see here that we have, um, we are now in our Firebase database uh, or like panel, co console panel. Um, and the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the Firestore database. And this is where all our, of our data will be stored. So you're going to press create database um, and you're going to start in production mode. And basically choose your Firestore location. Now, the closer it is to your, um, to you or like the people that are going to use this bot um, is, the better it is. Um, so like I'm going to choose US Central, um, but you know, any of these are fine if you know that people are going to be mostly from Asia or, or US West or Europe. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm just press enable and wait for it to load, and then we will be able to see our Firebase database pop up um, for our, in our console. So it's setting up the security rules. Now, security rules are basically, um, basically um, a set of rules that um, dictate like how your database will work. Now you can see here on default, it says allow read and write. So basically, um, anyone can uh, right now anyone can um, just access my database um, and you know read and use it um, which is obviously not good um, so further down in another episode we're gonna change this um, so yeah um, but for now uh, a couple things to note um, we're gonna first create a collection um, and a collection is basically very obvious as a collection of documents so let's call this collection data or players so um, for our first document, I'm just going to call this default data, and I'm going to save it. And now we have our players collection with a, our, our document of default data and our um, document with obviously nothing on it because we haven't added anything yet. But basically, this will um, basically contain everything um, that about our player. So like, you know, how much coins they have. Uh, their pet name, their pet level, um, you know, and everything in between. And you can see here, if we press on add field, you can see there's like a lot of different like variable data types that we can add, like strings, numbers, booleans, uh, maps, arrays. We're really going to be using numbers, boolean strings, and timestamps, and maybe arrays. Um, and obviously, we'll be using custom classes, which is also available for um, Firebase. And over here, you can see here that there's a usage tab. So the thing that sucks about Firebase is that um, you're only allowed up to 50,000 reads every day, as well as 20,000 writes and 20, uh, 10,000 deletes, I think, or 20,000 um, deletes. Um, but that's OK. Um, we're probably no, not going to have this bot blow up too big. So 50,000 reads should be um, good for around 100 players or 50 players, depending on how usage intense your bot is going to be. Um, but um, it's also pay along the way. So if your bot does grow big um, and you want to keep supporting your bot's growth, um, you can obviously you know um, pay for it. Uh, but anyways, um, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go back into our project and we're going to be linking our Firebase um, into our project. But yeah, anyways, guys, um, so if you have um, no once if you have Node.js installed, which you should if you are on this episode two of this tutorial series, what you want to do is you want to go into the terminal and you just want to type npm install Firebase 
save. And now, once you have, if you do have Node.js installed, um, this process will roll out. Otherwise, you'll get an error, and you'll be need to install Node.js. But basically, this will just install the SDKs um, that are necessary for your Firebase to actually work. So let's just wait for it to load. Um, and yeah. So now you can see I've installed. And next, we want to install the next thing. Um, npm install Firebase admin save. And now wait for this to load, um, download, I mean. And yep, so now that that's done, then that final thing that we're gonna need is npm install dot and save. And yeah, once you have installed this, um, your project should be ready to go for Firebase. Um, and you can see here, if we uh, look at the node modules, we have Firebase, which is now installed with analytics and everything that we will be needing. So yeah, that's really cool. And now we can start um, coding with Firebase. Oh, hey guys, but anyways, now that you have installed the dependencies, what you want to do is you want to go into your uh, index.js file and you want to just type in const Firebase is equal to require and then Firebase bad slash app. And basically, these are calling basically on the SDKs so that we can actually use them in our, um, in our inside of our, um, our index.js file. Um, and we can type here again, require Firebase admin dot fire store dot field value. And once you have that, that done, what you want to do is you want to type const admin is equal to require Firebase admin. And then finally, const service account is equal to require Um, and basically, we're just going to create a new uh, folder and we're going to, or not folder, file, and we're going to call it service account. Okay, guys, so basically, what you want to do next after you have um, all of these done is you want to go into project overview, go to the project settings, and go to service accounts and make sure that Node.js is ticked, um, like so. And basically, you just want to uh, press generate new private key, download the pri private key, um, and basically, you just want to drag that into your project like so. And basically, once you have this done, um, input into your project, what you want to do is you want to just right click and rename this to service account. So service account uh, JSON. You want to go into index.js and type service accounts, accounts um, dot JSON. And boom. So now we're pretty much done importing all the uh, SDKs and dependencies that we have for need for this project. And now we can actually start to get coding. So um, yeah, basically we also actually, we, we forgot one thing. We actually also have to um, actually initialize the f database when we start the project. So we have to type admin, uh, initialize app, um, open cl close curly brackets, and then credential, and then admin.credential um, dot cert and then service count. So we're passing in basically the config files, um, oh, whoops, not semicolon, the config files from our service account, uh, for our, for, uh, for, uh, to our, um, uh, admin and in initializing the app. Um, and now basically what we're going to do is we're just going to start coding because we have all of our dependencies ready. So, the first thing that I want to do is I want to first we're going to delete these two commands and we're going to have um we're, yeah the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the bag command or balance command so we're going to be able to see um you know our balance um and basically what we want to do is we we're just going to change this to bal or balance um, so if command is equal to balance bal or command is equal to balance, then we're going to call onto another function. So we're going to create a brand new function here, down here, and we're going to call this, um, whoops, we also have to give it a name. So function, um, let's call it balance 
Um, oops. And basically, once we well, oh my god, uh, basically once we call this function, uh, please bow or sorry exclamation mark bow. We're gonna be running the balance function. And the reason we're gonna be doing this is we're gonna try to keep the client the on message um, area uh, fun um, a function like neat and tidy, so we don't like put this code here, so that like you know we can't see anything. Um, this makes our li lives a lot easier if we create like brand new functions instead of like putting it on inside the if statement. But yeah, guys. Anyways, the final thing we're gonna do in this episode is we're just gonna be, um, I guess, um, checking if the database actually works. Um, and in the next episode, we can actually start coding. So this episode uh, is literally just us um, going to be us, um, you know, importing all the Firebase dependencies and packages. Uh, but anyways, um, what we're going to type here is we're going to say let db equal be equal to Firebase dot Firestore, and basically we're just going to be calling onto the deep uh, data uh, the Firebase data store that we have here in out uh, inside of our um inside of our database console. Um, and basically what we're going to do here is we just say we're just going to say db dot collection. Um, and we're going to say what do we call it? We call it players. So players or whatever you called yours. Um, dot doc. And basically we're saying document. And the specific document will be our um, ID here that we're going to be passing when we call this function and the ID will be message.author.id and over here instead of passing a string we're just going to say ID so we're going to be reference uh, like where every like document because each ID for each person is like distinct um, and it's just a very easy way of like storing and um, you know being able to find the corresponding document to the corresponding user we're just going to type ID and we're just going to say dot set and then we're just going to do open close curly brackets and we're just going to set it as let's say um balance zero for now and we're only going to have balance for now um but anyways guys you can see here i am in discord now um and i have run the uh nojs command um and now what we're going to do is we're just going to check if this works so we're just going to type exclamation mark val and if we get an error we got an error so uh let's just fix that um, so we got db dot collection dot um so collection is undefined. Um, let's check over here. Uh, so after some debugging, I realized I made some mistakes. So instead of Firebase, it should be admin. Um, and we should actually add open and close brackets after the Firestore. So now we can create a new terminal. Delete this one. Whoops. Create a new terminal and delete that one and type node index um, and we got an error here um, oh my bad we should actually move this down under initialize app before we call any firebase services um, so now we can just delete that and we type node index and finally if we do exclamation mark bow it should work there's no errors now let's go into our fire story you can see here that a new um, a new um, new document has been added um, by our scripts with a balance of zero. Now we set the balance to be 50. Um, and we do, if we try to do exclamation mark bow again, or sorry, we have to run it. Sorry, we have to actually rerun it. So we do node index. And now if we do exclamation mark bow, it should say that our balance is now 50. So yeah, now we know that our script works um, and our um, Firebase has been successfully imported. And next episode, we're gonna actually be starting to create some functions such as actually making exclamation mark bow do something as well as making um, exclamation mark beg and exclamation mark search. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. Um, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.